so uh, now you know we will be discussing about cost of debt now whenever you borrow debt now what do you do uh, what do you have to do you have to pay the interest right you will be paying the interest now if i talk about tax benefit that which security is eligible tax uh, for tax benefit if you are raising money by uh, issuing debt securities or if you are taking loan so whether you will be getting the tax benefit or not or in case of equity whether you are eligible for tax benefit or not right now i will be discussing it right i will be preparing one income statement here and with the help of income statement we will understand that for which security you can claim the tax benefit right so first of all i will take the capital structure example right let's suppose you have started a business and when you have started the business you have raised money by issuing equity shares uh, how much you have raised you have raised let's suppose 5000 crore rupees you have raised 5000 crore rupees right and from that what you have done again you have raised 5000 crore rupees right so what is going to be your total capital your total capital is going to be 10000 crores right your total capital is going to be how much it is going to be 10000 crores right so this is your total capital right now further if i discuss uh for that what you have to do you have to pay interest right what is going to be the cost in case of that in case of uh debt your cost is going to be interest right? and let's suppose you have taken loan where you have to pay 10% interest where what do you have to do you have to pay 10% interest so 10% of 5000 crore is going to be how much it is going to be for sure 500 crore rupees right so this much interest what do you have to do you have to pay to the bank right now i'm drawing a income statement here in income statement first we write down sales so here if i write down the sales Let's suppose sales of your business is two thousand crore, right? Now, if I write write down the cost here, let's suppose cost of material consumed is, uh, is of four hundred crore. You have paid salary. You have paid salary of let's suppose two hundred crore during the year. You have paid salary of two hundred crore rupees, right? Uh, there are some other expenses you are bearing, like suppose advertisement and uh, promotion expenses, that cost uh hundred crore. and other expenses you have incurred towards your business and in total uh, uh other expenses are of rupees 300 and you will pay interest also how much interest you will be paying for sure you will be paying interest of 500 crore rupees right this is the expense which you will be recording into the pnl account and if i do the total of your cost so total of your cost is how much it is 1500 crore right this is the total of your cost right now if i ask you to calculate profit before tax so how you will be calculating the profit before tax that is going to be sales minus total cost that is going to be sales minus total cost right so if i uh, uh, adjust sales with total cost so here pbt amount is going to be 500 crore and obviously what you will be doing you will be paying the tax also how much tax in india uh, companies liable to pay any idea how much tax in india companies liable to pay 30% Right, so five hundred into thirty percent. If I do, so you will be paying tax of one fifty crore rupees. Right, you will be paying tax of one fifty crore rupees. But if I take another assumption here, right, let's suppose you have started a business where you have raised ten thousand crore rupees, but here your debt amount is zero. Right, you have uh, not raised any amount uh, from loan or uh, by issuing debt securities, right? whole 10000 crore you have raised by issuing equity shares and this is my second case right now if i draw another income statement this is for case 1 right this is case 1 where you have raised money by issuing debt securities also and this is case 2 where you have raised money by issuing only equity shares right now if i draw the income statement for case 2 so what result we will be getting here here sales is of 2000 crore right cost of material consumed is of 400 salary 200 advertisement and promotion 100 other expenses are of rupees 300 and interest cost is going to be for sure zero here right interest cost is going to be for sure zero here right now what is going to be the total cost if i copy the formula here here total cost is going to be 1000 crore and what is going to be your profit before tax in this case your profit before tax is going to be One thousand crore. Now you just let me know how much tax you have to pay if your profit before tax is one thousand crore. How much tax you have to pay? You have to pay three hundred crore rupees tax, right? That is going to be thirty percent of one thousand crore. Here, if you see what you have done, you have paid interest. Right? In first case, you are paying interest, and how much tax you are paying to the government? You are paying tax of one fifty crore to the government, right? 
in this case if you are not paying interest how much tax you are liable to pay you are liable to pay 300 crore rupees tax yes or no you are liable to pay 300 crore rupees tax uh, you are liable to pay 300 uh, crore rupees tax to the government right now after that you will be paying the equity dividend Anna, you will be calculating the profit after tax Right, profit after tax here in this case is going to be 500, 150, uh, 500 minus 150, it is going to be 350. Then here it is going to be 700, right? And this amount is going to be distributed to equity shareholders. So dividend mein koi tax benefit nahi milta, aapko tax benefit milta hai kisme? Interest mein. Ab mujhe baat batao, yaha pe tax benefit aapko kitna mil raha hai? Here in this case, how much tax benefit you are receiving in first case, if I uh, say, so if I calculate the difference between tax paid in case two and tax paid in case one, so you are getting tax benefit of 150 crore rupees, right? You're getting tax benefit of how much? 150 crore rupees if you're paying interest of 500 to government, right? Now, in this case, if I ask you, what is the tax benefit amount? Tax benefit means you are paying less tax to the government, right? You are paying less tax to the government. Right. So how much tax benefit you are receiving here? You are receiving tax benefit of 150 crore. Here you are not receiving any tax benefit. Right. In this case, you are not receiving any tax benefit. So here your tax benefit is going to be zero. Right. Now, if I ask you that you are paying interest of 500 crore rupees to government, right? You are paying interest of 500 crore rupees to government and tax benefit is of 150 crore, right? Tax benefit is of 150 crore. So what is the net cost? What is the net cost here? Is it possible for you to calculate net cost? If you are paying 500 crore rupees uh, to banks and just because of payment of interest, you are able to save tax of 150 crore rupees. What is going to be your uh, net cost here? Obviously it is going to be 350. Very good. Very good. It is going to be 350. This is your net cost, right? This is your net cost. Just because of interest, you are able to save 150 crore rupees tax, right? This is your net cost. Now here, if I talk about your interest cost, so it is 10%. And until now, it is 10%. Why it is 10%? Because 10% 10 of 5,000 crore is going to be 500 crore, right? So if you're paying 500 crore, so it is going to be 10% here. But now if I ask you to calculate effective interest rate, effective cost is 350. Actual cost is 350 for you because you're able to save tax of 150 crore. So now if I want to calculate effective uh, interest uh, rate, so it is going to be 350 divided by loan amount, right? It is going to be 350 divided by loan amount and your effective interest rate is going to be how much? It is going to be 7%. Are you able to understand? Whenever we want to calculate, whenever we calculate interest cost, now we use this formula. Whenever we calculate interest cost, we use this formula. That is going to be interest divided by loan amount, right? So here interest is 500 and if you will divide it by 5,000, so you will be getting here 10%, right? 500 divided by 5,000, here you will be getting 10%. But our actual cost is how much? It is 350 because we are able to save the tax also. So our actual cost is 350. So 350 divided by loan amount if I will do, so I will be getting the actual cost, right? So this is a longer process. I can tell you the shortcut, right? Here what I can do, I can tell you the shortcut. There's a formula, Anna, the for, uh, if you see the formula, you will be getting more clarity. So there's a formula. What's that formula? I will show you. Here, we can use this formula and what, he, what we can do, we can directly calculate this 7%, right? So here we can use this formula that is cost of debt is equal to interest expense uh, into one minus tax rate, right? So what is the interest expense here? Interest expense is 10%, yes or no? Interest expense is 10%. Tax rate is, tax rate which we have taken is 30%, right? Tax rate we have taken 30%. Now simply what we have to do, we have to apply this formula. Interest expense is 10%. Then multiply, open up the bracket, one minus tax rate. What is the tax rate here? Tax rate is 30%. And if I solve this equation, so I'm getting 7% interest rate. That is the cost of that. Am I clear to you all how we have done, how we have calculated this, right? Now we will see case number one or example number one. In this case, if you see a company named Waste Private Limited took a loan of $2 lakh from a bank at the rate of interest uh, of 8% uh, to issue company a bond of $2 lakh. So company has issued bond of $2 lakh and interest rate is 8%. Based on the loan amount and the rate of the interest, interest expense is going to be $16,000 and tax rate is 30%. So tax rate is given here 30%. Then loan amount is $2 lakh. 
interest rate is 8%. For 2 lakh dollar loan, what you have to do? You have to pay 8% interest, right? So 2 lakh dollar into 8% if I do. So what interest expense you have to bear? You have to pay interest expense of $16,000. Right. But what is the purpose here? Uh, what is the uh, main goal uh, here? Here we have to calculate cost of debt. So we will be using this formula, right? Interest expenses, 8%, right? Into open up the bracket one minus tax rate. Tax rate is given here 30%, right? This step you have to follow and you have to close the bracket and you will be getting the answer. So in terms of dollar, we are getting the answer. Yeah. Here final answer is 5.60 percentage. Right. So your cost of debt is how much? 5.60 percentage. How much interest you have to pay? You have to pay interest of 8%. But what is the effective interest cost? Effective interest cost is 5.6%. Why effective interest cost is lesser than actual interest cost? Because you are getting 30% tax benefit. Right? You are getting 30% tax benefit. Just because you are paying interest, you have to pay less tax to the government. So being a layman, if I talk about it, I have to pay कुछ पे करना है उसके भी आप में अगर मुझे कैशबैक मिल रहा है तो मेरा नेट कॉस्ट कितना होगा लेट्स सपोज इफ आई इफ आई एम बाइंग अ आईफोन राइट आई एम यूजिंग एचडीएफसी कार्ड एंड आई एम बाइंग अ आईफोन ऑफ 1 लाख रुपीस एंड इफ आई एम यूजिंग एचडीएफसी कार्ड सो आई एम गेटिंग 5% कैशबैक है ना मुझे 5% क्या मिल रहा है कैशबैक मिल रहा है सो 1 लाख का 5% कितना होगा दैट इज गोइंग टू बी 5000 नाउ इफ आई आस्क यू दैट व्हाट इज द फाइनल कॉस्ट ऑफ आईफोन सो हाउ मच यू विल से इज इट 1 लाख और इज इट 1 लाख माइनस 5000 95,000. It is going to be 95,000. It is going to be for sure 95,000. Similarly here, you are getting tax benefit. How much tax benefit you are getting? You have to pay interest. That is 8%. Right? Government is saying if you are paying interest, no, so we will be giving you cash back. You just assume tax benefit as a cash back. So government is saying we will be giving you 30% cash back. Tax rate is 30% and similar amount of cash back we will be giving you. So 8% into 30% if I do. So it is going to be how much? It is going to be 2.4%. Government is saying we will give you a discount of 2.4%. So what is going to be your net cost? Your net cost is going to be 5.6%. So with the help of this formula, you can directly calculate the net. Uh, you can directly calculate the net cost. Is it clear? This is how we have to calculate the cost of net. Am I making sense? Are you able to understand? So this is how you have to calculate. You can solve example number two right now. So solve example number two. 